A new team is in charge at Leighton Holdings tonight after Chief Executive David Stewart followed his chairman out the door. Mr Stewart had only been in charge eight months, but on the surface of it at least, he and David Mortimer appear to have paid the price for Leighton's big profit downgrade earlier this year. While the company denies it, it seems the Spanish owners of Leighton's majority shareholder have been flexing their muscles. Emily Stewart reports. With what appears to be a revolving door at Leighton's head office, it was down to new chairman Stephen Johns to announce an even newer chief executive. We see a very rosy future for, for the company. We have a, a major uh, suite of opportunities which uh, we wish to uh, and will certainly be endeavouring to take uh, advantage of. And the board has come to the view that uh, a change in CEO was... Uh, was desirable in order to optimise those opportunities and that Hamish is the person to take us forward. Leighton says Hamish Tirrett, a 26-year veteran of the company and former head of the Asian business, is the right person to initiate growth for the company. The new leaders paid tribute to former Chief Executive David Stewart, who they acknowledged had a tough eight months in the top job. He was a catalyst for change. He also encountered a number of major problems and issues in the business and he's done a very good job stabilising the company, stabilising the complex uh, Brisbane Airport Link job and the Victorian desalination plant job. And he's also addressed many of the issues in the Middle East. I haven't celebrated yet because you know, I, you know the taking over from David Stewart uh, in the time that it's been done, you know, it hurts. The early change of leadership certainly shocked analysts. David Stewart resigning came as a complete surprise to the market. Analyst Jeff Wilson says the decision may have been influenced by Spanish company Grupo ACS, which took control of Leighton's major shareholder, Hocktief, in May. There's talk around the market that um, Wal King has had an impact or has influenced the major shareholder uh, working to you know, remove the managing director. But when questioned, Leighton said ACS had nothing to do with it. Clearly, um, uh, ACS had no role in this. We have no direct relationship with ACS. It's believed former chairman David Mortimer stood down in protest of the removal of David Stewart, but Leighton's new management was sticking to the script. He has showed great leadership and strength to the board and to the company in general. And we will miss him. It was a personal decision on David's part, uh, which uh, I'm not uh, able to comment on any further than that. Leighton shares closed down more than 3% at $20.61.